Mira, Alondra, lo que encontré. ¿Las fotos de las quinceañeras? Sí. My name's Alondra, I'm 15 years old, and I'm about to have my quinceañera. I'm excited to have all my family come together and just celebrate my day. I really didn't want a quinceañera because I've always been big in a sense. I've always been bigger than other kids, either if it's taller or it's in weight. But as time went on, I learned not to care what people think of me. Nunca mirado esta foto, Sama. Pues estaba en el guardado. Todos estamos juntos, ¿qué sí? Sí. ¿Qué es Cindy? Sí. I will be the fifth quinceañera my parents have to throw. So I've always grown up in the spotlight of quinceañeras. They've always been around every single summer. There's always some quinceañera. Bien seria, como siempre. ¿Y papá llora que sí? Sí. My favorite tradition would have to be the father-daughter dance. That's the last dance your father and you will have before your wedding. And I just think it's beautiful and all my sisters have cried. So I'm pretty sure I will cry too. ¿Cómo te sientes que vas a tener tu quinceañera? Estresada. ¿Por? Porque es mucho trabajo, pero me siento feliz por tener una quinceañera. Todo va a salir bien. Siempre tenemos quinceañeras. Todo sí. We are a very big family. I have family coming all the way from Utah, from Florida. Approximately a party of 400, maybe 500. Since my parents and my padrinos are working so hard, I do put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure everything is down to the T. My favorite part of my quinceañera has been planning my court, my dances. The reason I decided to tour it up for my dances myself was because I liked pieces from one, another piece from another one. So I really took the job on to make it myself and how I really want it. But it is also the most difficult thing since we're young and they don't want to listen to me since we're the same age and we're all friends. They think they can goof off. Remember, me, <laughs> girl. Hey! You guys say you don't know hey, it, but you don't want to learn it. you don't know it. For Martin Senera, since we decided to do a lot of the DIYs, these are some of the vases that we'll be using for the, my dessert table. Me and my mom and my sisters will be doing most of my decorations. We've always made our decorations, so it's kind of a tradition to do it in my family now. Over here, we have some of the finished products that my sister has made. So for this one, she spray painted the lids, and then she put the jewels right here. And these will be the main things on the centerpieces for the candy table. It is hard because since we're Expecting so many people, we have to make so many of the same objects over and over. This is the bottle that will be on my, on my main table. At the end of my 15, this bottle will end up right here where all the other champagne bottles from the past quinceañeras have ended up. And having these here is a constant reminder that my 15 is coming and it makes it more surreal. And it just makes me really happy. It's one of the many things that we have going on that makes me more excited for my 15. When I was younger, I didn't want a quinceañera because I've always been bigger than other kids, either if it's taller or it's in weight. And I didn't want a quinceañera because I didn't want to be the center of attention. I didn't want them to see me in a dress. When I was little, I didn't really know what bullying was. The people who I was friends with actually were the bullies, so I really didn't say anything. But as I got older, you know, I knew what they were telling me. I got aggressive with them. They would tell me something, I would push them. And I knew that wasn't right, and it didn't make me feel good, but I felt like they should get the treatment that they were giving me. The people I thought were my friends would tell me that I was ugly and that I was fat. And all these mean things that you don't want to tell a little kid, I would put myself down. Instead of, you know, saying, they're not talking about me, they're my friends. I really put myself down, and that just sent me into like a really dark path. The turning point for me for saying I do want to continue out was in seventh grade. I had just moved and I looked at it as a fresh start and I started getting into makeup and just surrounding myself with the right people this time. They were the ones who pushed me on and kept telling me that I was beautiful and not to care what anybody had to say about me. And I said, I was like, you know what? I don't care if I'm better than anybody else. I'm gonna rock that dress and I don't care what anybody has to say about it. And that's the way I feel. Every girl should have a quinceanera no matter how big you are, what size you are, it doesn't matter because you're gonna look beautiful in that dress. And if you love yourself, then that's the only thing you should ever care about. Your dress is the most important part of your quinceanera. It's the thing that's gonna set you apart from everybody else. You know, I've never been the center of attention and finally for one day I am. My mom is the only one that's seen my dress. She was there when I showed her how I wanted it to be designed. So this is my dress, it just came in. 
I'm so nervous to open it and I'm about to do this with my mom right now. For my dress, I took different pieces of dresses that I found and I asked the company if they were able to contribute all the different pieces into one dress to make my dream dress. I'm very nervous because since I've never seen it in person, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if it's the right color, if it's gonna fit. All these themes are just running through my mind right now. I'm so happy. It's the right color. It's what I designed. No way. No I can't wait to try this on. I'm gonna smell. Seeing myself in this dress for the first time is overwhelming. I can't believe how beautiful it came out. Before I tried on the dress, I was really nervous that I wasn't in a fit, but everything came out perfect and I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. It's just my dress is perfect. It's beautiful. It's everything I could have imagined it to be. I'm so overwhelmed right now that the only way I could possibly think to thank my mom is to give her a hug. Just being able to spend this moment with her and not anybody else not seeing the dress, only her, makes it even more special now. ¿Cómo se sintió mirándome por primera vez en el vestido? Pues ya, muy feliz porque si Dios nos da licencia, vamos a terminar contigo nuestras cinco princesas. Perfect. Seeing myself in this dress, I'm so happy with it. And I love it so much. It has so many beatings. Then my my dress is just ruffles and ruffles and ruffles and it's beautiful. I'm so confident knowing I chose the right things for my dress because I know what looks right on my body. This is a feeling I want other girls to have when they have their own quinceañeras. I want them to feel the happiness I feel within me right now and I'm so happy that I chose to have one. I can't wait for my quinceañera and it's everything I could possibly want it to be. Hey guys, thanks for watching my show. Awesome to see you excited to announce that My Dream Quinceañera is now casting nationwide. If you want your quince featured on Awesome to TV, send a video telling us why to quince at awesomenesstv.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Awesome to TV.